So in this example, we obviously see that we have a number and it's negative, right? So we know we can't take the square root of negative 144. <clears throat> However, if I am familiar with my square numbers, I realize, though, that 144 is a square number. So I could take the square root of it if I didn't have to worry about this negative 1. So what we can do, though, is we can use our properties of radicals to rewrite this. Do you guys agree that I can separate negative 144 into 144 times negative 1? Does that make sense? Now, the properties of radicals, which we'll go over more later, but the properties of radicals allows us to break, since they're, since they're separated by multiplication, I can actually do the product separately. Okay, And again, we'll get into more of these properties. If you guys can just remember, though, as long as they're separated by multiplication, you can take the square root of them separately. Yes? So you have to really like just simplify huh? the 144. Well, yeah. So what's the square root of 144? It's going to be 12. And then we talked about what is the square root of negative 1? I. Yes? Um, so would it, would it still be plus or minus y? Or plus no. 